All right, we should get into this puzzle because it's here and we need to take care of it anyway. So we'll have another peek at our instructions. Click to move the strategy board pieces to their indicated positions on the board. All right, so... Oh, holy cow. What are they doing? Oh, I see. She moves one at a time. He moves like crazy. Interesting. <laughs> what? Uh, alrighty then. How do we... I don't know if I should just go for it, maybe? That should get me right there. And what about this one? Sure. And that uh, should get me right there. And I'll put this one to the test. Wait a minute. Ah, okay, so I gotta get this one out of the way then. And I can put that one there. Let's go ahead and deal with this then. I think we can just do a little quick diagonals here. Get you there. And then this one goes there. Can this go on the diagonal? Are you serious? Are you really serious? I can't go on a that. Oh, shoot. All right, we'll try that again. All right, first order of business, we need to get Lady there. Uh, we need to get this fella here. Then we need to get him out of there. And we can move him here. There's no more obstacles here. Now, we got it done. Yay! Signet ring. It looks kind of ghostly, doesn't it? The poison that killed Alexandra came from here? But that's impossible. Victor is my right hand man. He wouldn't do such a thing. Unless. Unless what? Talk to him. This signet ring represented all my authority and power. But Victor never abused his power. He was always loyal and obedient. Someone must have framed him. He looks totally guilty, dude. Victor, what is the meaning of this? The chambermaid told me she found the goblet with the vile liquid in it. Poison, she says. What do you know of this? My lord, we both know the Lady Alexandra was stabbed to death. The killer was caught and punished. The chambermaid must be mistaken. Why would Nikolai both poison and stab her? Besides, Nikolai is dead now. There's no sense pursuing this. No, I mean, evidence needs to be looked at and the truth needs to be sought. Yeah, he is totally a freak. Look at him. Creepy, creepy. So do we ever get to use this microscope? Because I would really love to do that. Oh, there we go. Or uh, green, orange, red. Green, orange, red. Some sort of crazy hand. 
quill, sorry. Now for the owl eyes. Must be over here somewhere. No? <laughs> Come on, get out of there! Oh! Whoa! They look like kids! Victor was an orphan adopted by Count Lucian's family. He became Lucian's personal servant, and the two formed a fast friendship. Upon taking up his family's titles and holdings, Count Lucian appointed Victor as his steward. Victor was a pragmatic and determined man who would see Count Lucian's will enforced with cold and ruthless efficiency. However, Victor's dogmatic approach would cause friction with Sir Nicola, the people's champion and Lucian's knight and vassal. Yeah, guilty. Metal eye. That is not where the metal eye goes. Two metal eyes. Find seven articles of Victor's clothing. Why would he have Victor's clothing in here? Unless he was trying to impersonate him. I think he might have. Oh no, sorry, Victor's clothing. I'm getting him and Nikolai mixed up. But doesn't that look like Nikolai's outfit? Now I'm confused. No, now he definitely looks like Victor. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait. Time out. Whose blue cloak is this? It's got blood all over it. And poison. And it's Victor's book. Uh... This bottle. Victor, did you do this? Did you poison my Alexandra? No, sire, no. It was meant for Nikolai, under your orders. No, I don't think he ordered that. What orders? I gave no such thing. You told me to take care of Nikolai, my lord. So I did. No. Oh no. No, no, no! No. No, no, no! I couldn't have killed her! I couldn't! You! You're not my Lady Alexandra! She's dead! Get away from me! Oh, now he realizes it. See, this is the whole issue I mentioned in the last little bit. Like, jealousy just gets you nowhere. Make you, makes you do dumb things, that's for sure. Alright, well, where are we gonna go now? Where I am, apparently. Put the book in place. And now I've got myself a figurine. Which goes... Not here, apparently. Oh yes, it goes on the fence. I think. Yeah, that's where. Not the fence, but the stone here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, do we get to actually use this thing now? No. No, I do have it. Find 11 rust or blood stains? Wow. Well, this one's all bloody. <laughs> the other one was all rusty. Victor's initials. The bloody one was with Victor. Dun dun dun. Oh, now he comes to my rescue. Lucian, I trusted you. You were the owl of the castle. You saw and know everything. Okay. Owl of the castle, go. 
Victor, you're so gullible you'd get me on your right, but the falcon on your left would go after what wasn't his. Lucia Nikolai was the noble spear that kept our enemies at bay. Noble spear, you say? Okay, I thought that was a katana. Sure, a spear. The lion failed to protect the pride himself. That was his downfall. Doggy. The lion knew when to rein in his pride and rely on the ages of others. Snakes! Camel! That. Oh, there you go. And yet, he failed to see the serpent. He turned me against my Alexandra, my rose. Made me see what wasn't truly there. Yep. So I guess she's blaming Victor now for being a bit of a jerk, a jealous jerk. It was meant for that eternal hound. But in the end, it took away everything from me. You weren't the owl that watched over me. You, your Hydra that killed us all. A Hydra that killed us all. Wow. Okay, Sparkles, get out of there. I want to look at it. Does that look like a Hydra? I have no idea what that was supposed to be. One's rusty, one's bloody. Clear the moves listed on the right. Dragon release to match five of the same tile. Holy cow. How does this work? Uh... Okay. That's the strangest hint ever. 50 steps left. I'm starting to wonder if I should update this game because I noticed the audio was missing there too. And I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. Dragon release. There's not, I can't drag anything. Let's get this puzzle started. Woo wee, super fun. So we need shields. We're gonna try our best to get as many shields as possible. And as quickly as possible. And I need one more shield. It definitely has a candy crush feel to it with this limited number of moves left. Not sure I'm excited about that idea, but I can't do anything about that now. I gotta get this done. Figures are gonna walkers now. I got tons of those. I don't even need those. I don't want to waste a move clearing them out either. I need a walker. I need two walkers. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, but I'm not allowed. Finally, another walker. Two of those. Two of those. Two of those. More shields. 
25 moves left. I need one, three, four, I need six to actually finish the game. So we'll see how well we do here. Okay, there's one. Oh, I should have done that as a line. Oh well. Another shield. So now I need four moves to actually finish the game. I just need a shield and then I'm done. Actually, I need two shields. <sighs> I'm not getting the shields I need. Finally, there's one shield. One more shield, come on game. 11 moves to get one shield. Finally, you don't know how many times I've had to repeat this, holy cow. Uh-oh. Go, retrieve the sword for Count Lucian. Uh, okay. Oh, I guess Bandit's got to do it. Okay, Bandit. Come on. Ah. Uh. Oh, jeez. Bandit, go! Oh, no. He has to die. Judge, Jury, and Executioner. Okay. I wish I could take back what I did. To be wed to my Lady Alexandra. I should have put my love and my trust in my heart first, and not let jealousy rule my place. Oh, my love. Well, uh, you, you were dumb. I don't know what else to say, buddy. This was the only honorable character in the whole game. My lady, thank you for your help. But I have one last favor to ask. Please, set things right for them. Take these rings and place them back in the chapel where they belong. Wow, you would even do that? After all he's done? And we've completed the game! Yay! Uh, click to continue. Don't fret, my dear. I've always loved you. Death never changed that. Thank you, my love, and thank you for setting us free a Lady Nightstone. I don't know. Now I have mixed emotions about this relationship. <laughs> Where were you, Miss Nightstone? You were gone all night. The castle is haunted, don't you know? Not anymore. Wink. And there we go. We finished the game in four hours. Notwithstanding that last puzzle. Whoa, barely finished it in four hours. Holy cow. Alright folks, we're going to let the credits roll, but we still have a bonus chapter. That's right. Stay tuned for that. That of course will be in the next video. Uh, let's get into this, my thoughts about the game. I definitely liked the game. Did I love it? Uh, I can't say I loved the game. I certainly liked it. I definitely did not dislike it or even hate it. I liked it. I thought the story was really cool. The characters were very interesting. The mystery kept us going on there and trying to, I guess, try to have a bit of a twist sort of thing. But I just felt it was a bit long. I thought that the middle act it's a little strange and maybe it could have been a bit shorter. I, it's kind of weird to say that, right? You want a game as long as possible to maximize your dollars per hour. Not me. I'd rather have a good story and I don't care how long it takes. But I did feel like the middle act in this game was just a little bit too excessive. A little bit too much back and forth. A little bit, sh a little too much narrative explaining as, you know, the story. I got it, okay? She wasn't killed by a dagger. She was killed by poison. 
and then we spend the next hour trying to find the poison. It was a little weird for me. However, I think that might be a little nitpicky. Uh, there seemed to be a little bit, bit of a glitch near the end there with the audio, and uh, I do know there were two updates available through Big Fish games, but I, I don't know if they were installed for me or not. I have no clue. But anyways, that'll do it. I think we're rolling through the credits twice here now. Get some music to talk over, but uh, yeah, I like the game. And I certainly, it has inspired me to go and look at the earlier two, or maybe it's three now, Nightstone games I haven't recorded yet. Have a look at them, have a closer look. Would love to hear your thoughts on this game. If you've played all of them, please let me know how this one compares to the other. Dana Nightstone. So that'll do it for me. I'm your Gibbs, and I'll see you in the bonus chapter.